the lifespan of the microphones. This is what the microphones should look like inside. So the Beta 58 looks like that, and the SM58 looks like that. So you got this uh, secondary foam filter over the diaphragm to protect it. Old version of the ATM63HE. I showed you the newer version, but this is the version I had. So these mics are in the club that I, uh, I worked at. They had them, they bought them, but these, the, the ATM microphones, I wasn't there that long. I was there, I think it's, we got the microphones when I started there full time, which is 1998. And they lasted until 2002. This is what happened to this microphone over four years, got beaten up. It still worked because the grill, the grill was beaten up, but the diaphragm was in perfect condition. No, well, I mean, you see it on the bottom left. It's not perfect, but a little dirty. But I would clean the microphones and I would, you know, just try to protect that diaphragm in the microphone. So it looked bad, but it actually sounded like it sounded like new. You'd never know. I wouldn't use it for a corporate conference because um, I would want the um, microphones to look better for corporate purposes. But in a rock and roll, like for, you put this on a floor, Tom, who's going to see it anyway? And it still sounds good. And you can't convince somebody else like if they own the microphone. So you got to buy new grills for the microphones. Why? Because they don't look very nice. Uh, are people complaining? No. <laughs> well, ew, right? It's gross. This is from years of people singing into a microphone, which nobody cleaned until I came aboard. And I said, oh, I'm going to maintain the microphones. You got to, because I thought they were gross. Like people, they eat a big, you know, burger, a couple of beers, and they go smoke a cigarette. And now they sing. <laughs> They're singing for 45 minutes. What do you think is going to happen when you just keep repeating that process? This is what's going to happen if the pop filter wears out. This pop filter literally crumbled as I pulled it out. So I replaced it with a new one and maybe scoop out the center so it's a little thinner than the one you're actually seeing. I left a thick uh, filter inside and it sounded fine. Didn't take away too many high frequencies at all. But that's what happens. Like it, the, if you don't clean these things or replace them once in a while, they literally will crumble and they fall apart. And then all that, all that, I'm going to say mouth stuff. Whatever is in someone's mouth, that's what can happen. This could be a good case for like uh, <laughs> for the pandemic. This is what really happens to microphones. Yes, it can. <laughs> Disgusting, I tell you. Disgusting. I couldn't believe it. I took the mic off and that became my punk rock microphone or the, the abuse microphone. So when people came up and um, they abused the microphone in any way, I would pretend it was broken and give them this microphone. If you're going to trash my mic, you're getting this mic. So I, I still kept the mic on hand just in case anybody abused it. It's only happened a couple of times where I'd have to give an abuser this microphone. Worst came to worst, I could use this as an extra guitar mic because guitars are loud and screamy anyways. And there was still sound coming through it. It just wasn't great. This one here. Do you recognize the one on the right? That's a 421. This is what it should look like on the left. This is what it ended up looking like after years of abuse. You know, whoever owned it before, um, you see that metal strip. That metal strip is like a composite type of metal. It's not real metal. So too many hits and that, that metal band ended up breaking. That's a nice design, but the metal broke because I guess people hit it too much. The trick is with the, with the expensive microphones or any microphone really is you, you back it off from the drum so the person doesn't hit it. There are no guarantees. And for the SM57s, you often see people building grills around them with a, a coat hanger. They take a coat hanger and they snip off and create a little grill on the front to prevent the drumstick from breaking the piece of plastic. So if a drumstick does hit them, they can get damaged over time. I kept this microphone around to see how long it would last and it kept going. So I literally taped it together and I was like, how long could this last? And by the time I, uh, I, I parted ways with the club, I guess, um, Maybe it was still going. I don't know. I have no idea. Make 